Okay, that's where we are, right here. Okay. So it's just a little bit up. I wonder if that's it. Very slow. you can't find places to boondock in Florida. For example, this place, we are in a beautiful area all by ourselves, really just a few minutes from some of the best beaches in Florida, and we're boondocking. But it is a rather unusual place. Unusual? Yeah, probably the most unusual place we've ever stayed. We are boondocking on a bombing range. He's not joking. Before we get started, I want you to look at my sharp new boondocking design, part of our new 2021 clothing. And I like the color. Yep, I've got the cobalt blue, and this is in the hoodie, and you've got the forest green t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is part of uh, our new designs, and you can find them at uh, rvlifestyle.com slash go shopping. And boondocking is just uh, one of a bunch of new designs that we have. Now, where are we? Well, we are not far from um, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Actually, we're just a couple miles outside the town of Niceville, Florida, and that is uh, right near the Emerald Coast of Florida's Panhandle. It's a very high demand tourist area, and all of the RV parks are booked up for up to a year in advance. But we found a place to boondock on the Eglin Air Force Reserve. This is a huge area. It's, it's monstrously large in size, and it really is a bombing range. Uh, all around us, you're gonna hear planes, and uh, at night, sometimes we hear munitions going off. Um, they're not dropping bombs here, but you do have to go through a safety course about something called uh, UXO. You know what that stands for? No. Unexploded ordnance. If you want to camp here, you have to get a permit. And before you can do that, you need to watch a seven minute video about what to do in case you come across an unexploded bomb. Unexploded ordnance may be found anywhere on the reservation. The ability to identify unexploded ordnance is the first step in ensuring your safety and the safety of your companions. Here are some of the more common ordnance items that may be encountered on the reservation. Submunitions can be anything from a bomblet, to a grenade, to a landmine. These items are dispensed from cluster bombs. If you find one, there is a good chance there are more in the area. Bombs are the most common items found on the Eglin Reservation. They can range from 25-pound practice bombs to 3,000-pound high-explosive bombs. Bombs are extremely dangerous and can certainly kill anyone who disturbs them. Do not let the term practice bomb fool you. Practice bombs also contain components that have the capability to kill or seriously injure. It is a possibility that you will find unexploded bombs, hand grenades, uh, flares, uh, mines, all sorts of stuff and they show you what to do sure if you find it, but the basic line is, don't touch it. <laughs> don't touch it. I think I'm more afraid of finding uh, timber rattlers. Timber rattlers? I think that scares oh, me more than a bomb. They are huge. In fact, we saw one of them when we got our permit, the place where we get our permit. Huge. <laughs> yeah. It's bigger around than my arm. Yeah, uh, uh, ugly little buggers. <laughs> I'm sure some people find them beautiful. How, how big is this place? It's 255,000 acres. Wow. And to put that in perspective, it is the largest forested military reservation in the world. And there are a number of campgrounds here where you can do primitive camping, boondocking. Now, to enter the grounds here, you have to have a recreation permit. And the cost is $20 a year $10 a year if you're a senior. And are you ready to camp here? It's $5 a night. 
When you come here, make sure that you pick up a map because this is a huge place and there are a lot of different places to camp. So big, they gotta have it on two sides. <laughs> but it shows you how big this uh, reservation is. The map is color coded and we should probably explain what that's all about. Well, the pink areas, you can't go in. This is the real bombing range. They are dropping bombs out there. Now, we are over here and it's a little bit of a distance to a pink area but um, you're not to go into the pink areas. But Those sometimes they say they drop something and it kind of drifts over. That's why they tell you to be on the alert. So this is kind of the south end of the base. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the other end. You want to keep your dog on a on a leash because there are gators here. And I haven't seen any yet, but I've seen signs warning us about them. So we are going to be careful. They have a nice little boardwalk that goes around uh, Anderson Pond here. Great fish in there. They tell me there's some big bass in there. time of year we're shooting this video is uh, mid-March and the temperature is 75 degrees. Uh, everything's just starting to bloom and it is beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, I can't believe we found this place. All the years we have been coming down to the Emerald Coast to find this spot. This is just one of 14 camping spots here in the Eglin Reservation. And uh, again, this one is called Anderson Pond because of this uh, awesome pond right over here uh, and this great little um, boardwalk that I'm on with boat. Something that you might not realize, in this part of Florida, there are a lot of black bears. So you don't want to leave any food out, nothing left out. There aren't any trash cans here. You have to take everything inside and you have to be aware that you're in bear country. We are on the Florida Trail. Now this trail is one of the longest in the United States. It runs 1,300 miles. It starts at Pensacola and it runs uh, all the way east across the Panhandle and then down through the Florida Peninsula right to, uh, right to the Big Sipper Swamp. The Florida Trail. It's uh, right here, right outside of our camp. We can go as far as we want. On Walking. Can you hear them? You hear the sound of a lot of jets flying when you're here, but you are on an Air Force base bombing range, so they're training, they're learning, they're flying. So if you don't like the sound of airplanes, not good for you, but if you don't mind the sound of airplanes, great place to be. And if you decide to come to Eglin Air Force Base, there's a side trip that you really should make. We're going to take you there. And that side trip that we were telling you about is just a few miles from where we were boondocking. It is the U.S. Air Force Armament Museum. It is a free museum with lots of airplanes that have been used throughout uh, all of the major conflicts that the U.S. has been involved with on display, uh, right that you can get up close and personal with. These planes are awesome. And there is plenty of room for your RV. If you're a history buff, you'll love it.
you know, it, the pictures are impressive, but they really don't do justice to how big these things are. So why don't you walk over there underneath the sky and show them how big this thing really is. It's humongous. That helps, doesn't it? Look at that. World War II, a gunner would be right in here. He could move it around and he would use that weapon. Can you imagine that? If you're looking for a reasonably priced place to boondock, $5, $5 a night is pretty hard to beat. Now, I think it would get pretty warm here in the summertime, so you'd have to like the heat, but right now there's a delightful cool breeze, and it's, it's, it's lovely. And there, uh, there are no pit toilets, so you're going to be all self-contained. Uh, there's no running water. Uh, they do have some picnic tables available and even some grills, uh, so you have everything you need for a fun night boondocking. Hey, by the way, these are a couple more of our uh, new designs for the summer camping season. I've got on the uh, Happy Trails t-shirt and Jennifer, our small house, big yard. Again, you can catch this new uh, RV Lifestyle clothing for the new camping season at uh, rvlifestyle.com slash go shopping. Meantime, we hope you enjoyed this video about boondocking on a bombing range. Actually, you don't have to worry about bombs dropping on you but there are some out there if you go for hikes if you go for long hikes you might happen upon something you might <laughs> but just stay away and let the people know give, give them a call they'll give you a number when you get your permit should you find anything but uh, don't worry uh, it's not a problem for us we should also point out that there are alligators here and there are snakes there's water moccasins and there are those big timber rattlers that they Jennifer was on. Now we haven't encountered any of that, uh, but uh, keep your pets on a leash uh, once you uh, once you go for a hike. We're Mike and Jennifer Wetland. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the RV Lifestyle channel right here on YouTube. When you do that, please click, click that little um, uh, bell icon. And when you do that, you'll get notified when we have new videos online. Thanks so much for watching. Happy trails.